A Juggler's Tale is a fantastical and beautiful 2D platform adventure game with some puzzle elements thrown in for good measure. It's centred around the story of you uh, controlling a puppet who is being controlled by a puppeteer. And it's a story about hope and empowerment. And it kind of channels the traditional fairy tale feel and tone. But there's some adult stuff hiding in below the surface that you can choose to dive into and kind of dissect in your brain if you want to. But if you're just coming for a good 2D adventure game, Juggler's Tale will certainly provide that for you. You play as Abby, and Abby is a circus juggler and uh, like tightrope walker in a circus. But this circus is found on stage, and every single person in this game is a puppet and is being controlled by a puppeteer, and they all have strings going up to the top of the screen. Every level starts off as if you're on a stage, and there's a narrator who narrates what Abby is doing and what's going on in the world around her, as if it's been, the game's being played out like you're all watching it from the seats in the stage, uh, sorry, in the like auditorium. And it, I really, really love that because it offers a completely different layer to the game than what it would be if it was just a straight up platformer. And over the course of the game, the relationship between Abby, who you control, and the puppeteer, who would like to control Abby much more than what he's able to, they start off as friends and allies and slowly grow more antagonistic of each other as Abby wants to go off and explore the world beyond the stage that she's allowed to go to. It's really well done. Um, there's a little kind of not Stanley Parable style twist, but I can see parallels between the two a little bit. Um, but it's really well done. Uh, and I enjoyed the kind of twists in the tales and where it all ended up. As playing as Abby, a lot of the platforming is quite straightforward there's some running and chasing sequences that you have to get an eye on spot on for it to kind of progress you through but the vast majority of the game revolves around puzzles and the puzzles change constantly depending on each level and which section that you go to but they revolve around a similar theme and that's your strings you are a puppet on a string after all and so the environment that you're moving through will have things that will poke out and so your strings will get caught up in them and that will stop you either progressing forward or it might trigger a switch which then blocks your way in front of you or it might be that you're being chased by enemies and you need to hide and you need to tangle their strings up in something instead. And so what you're doing is trying to either navigate around somewhere a different or unique way or moving blocks so that you can climb up things and therefore miss the snag area or it could be that um, you need to kind of lead enemies down and round certain paths so that they end up getting tangled up in their own mess but the way how it's presented in each and every level and each and every kind of puzzle is very different so it could be that you're sneaking and hiding behind things in one level another one could see you having to uh, light a fire in the night and carry a torch between little fire stoves but the trees get in your way so you need to kind of run get the tree out of your way then make sure that you reach the next torch to keep the flame alive otherwise you'll have to go back and try again Failure might come quite often, particularly during the chase sequences. They are much harder than anything else in the game. But the penalisation for failing is a really quick respawn back to the very start of the puzzle that you're currently in. So the penalty is not really that huge. The game looks great. I love the fact that it's a mixture of stage puppeteering, but the background looks a mixture between hyper-realistic fairy tale and a Bob Ross painting come to life. <laughs> and there's some gorgeous light effects that take place throughout this game because you've got like a whole day-night cycle as Abby goes through the different levels. There's a great storm sequence where you're in a boat later on in the game as well, trying to avoid uh, giant um, sinkholes and tornadoes and stuff like that. Really well put together. There's also um, a beautiful score that goes on in the background as well. It sounds fully orchestrated to me uh, and it really adds an extra oomph to everything that's going on and it um, scores some of the key emotional moments really, really well. And of course, you've got the narrator who does a great job um, starting off as being a coy friend then starts to dig in at Abby's want to escape and become her own person 
and then the pure infuriation when Abby decides that it's time to try and cut her own strings and run free herself. It's a really great game. I had great fun playing it. My only downside to this is that the game comes in at just over the two hour mark. So if you're expecting something that's going to be like 10 hours long, you won't be getting that here. Instead, you'll be getting a really concise and well put together to two and a half hour adventure where every bit is just as enthralling as the last and varied and interesting. And I'm a big um, fan of games that use a mechanic for a specific section and then once you've done it a few times it's done and it's ditched and it never comes back again and that's what A Juggler's Tale does very well reminding me quite similarly to uh, Brother A Tale of Two Sons and more recently It Takes Two this is just like a 2D puppeteer version of that where everything is different in each and every level that you come across um, there is one thing other thing that I think might be Marmite to people I personally loved it, and that's that her puppet master, or puppeteer, who's named Jack, will make everything rhyme. <laughs> now, I found it quite fun because it leaned into that traditional fairy tale charm. Some people may find that a little bit marmite and a little bit aggravating, but I personally loved it. So, each to their own. A written review will be over on highplanegames.com. I give this a thumbs up as a recommendation. Thoroughly enjoyed myself with it. You guys take care. Catch you hopefully on another video. Bye -zy bye. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.